the given specimen is rose. Corolla, calyx, and gynecium are three important parts of a flower. Corolla. The corolla refers to the collection of petals that make up the innermost part of the flower. The petals are often brightly colored and are responsible for attracting pollinators, such as bees and butterflies. The corolla is typically located just inside the sepals, which make up the outermost part of the flower. Calyx. The calyx, on the other hand, refers to the collection of sepals that make up the outermost part of the flower. The sepals are typically green and serve to protect the developing flower bud. Once the flower has fully opened, the sepals may remain attached or fall off, depending on the species. Gynecium. Gynecium refers to the female reproductive organs of the flower. It is typically located in the center of the flower and is made up of one or more carpels. Each carpel contains an ovary, which houses the ovules that will eventually develop into seeds. The gynecium also includes the stigma and style, which are responsible for receiving and transporting pollen from the male reproductive organs of other flowers. Policy palace. Policy palace is a term used to describe a type of flower in which the sepals are separate from each other, rather than fused together. In other words, a policy palace flower has sepals that are not joined together at the base. This is in contrast to a gamosepalus flower, which has sepals that are fused together to form a single structure. Question number three. The given specimen is the dorsal view of pelvic girdle of frog skeleton. Question number four. The given specimens are A. Yeast B. 72 horse chick embryo C. Smooth muscle D. Liver fluke E. Salamander. Importance characters of yeast. 1. Yeast cells are unicellular and very small. These are only fungi which have no hyphae. 2. They are colorless. Their shape may be spherical, oval or elongated. Important characters of 72 hours chick embryo. 1. A large distant head will be visible. Curved body with shortly developed limbs will present. 2. Here 36 pairs of somites are present. Important characters of smooth muscle. 1. The smooth muscle is non-striated. 2. The smooth muscle are inbranded and spindle-shaped. Phylum of liver fluke. The phylum of liver fluke is platyhelminthes. These are flatworms that are parasitic in nature and are known to infect the liver and bile ducts of various mammals, including humans. Class of Salamander The class of Salamander is Amphibia. These are cold-blooded, aquatic or semi-aquatic animals that have a long tail and four legs. They are known for their ability to regenerate lost body parts, such as limbs and tails.